Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how you can convert your computer screen into a blackboard or a whiteboard or even a gridboard like the one I'm using here. Now why would you want to do that? As a teacher, you might want to create video tutorials for your students or use it in real-time teaching. Just connect your computer to a projector and as you write on the screen, the same is visible to your students at the same time. The beauty of all these is that you can do all these from a remote point and do all the writing and drawing the same way you do on a real whiteboard or a real blackboard. I'll show you how you do the various connections and how you created the whiteboard in the first place as well as how to use any additional hardwares and softwares. But first, if you're new to ICT Training for Teachers, just hit the subscription button so that you do not miss any of my future videos. The first part of this project of how to convert your computer screen into a whiteboard or a blackboard is how to create the whiteboard itself. And we are going to, you to do this using PowerPoint. The whiteboard we are going to create may not have the grid, but if you want, I'll show you how you can add this grid. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you how to create the whiteboard using PowerPoint. Of course, the first thing that I will do is to launch new PowerPoint presentation. You may name it however you like it. I double click to open this new PowerPoint presentation. I click, of course, to add the first slide and then I'll go to this tab here, written view, and then I'll proceed to slide master over here. I'll get this navigation. I go to the first slide over here because it is the one which I want to change. When I change this slide, it changes all the others. And then I'll come to background styles. It is at this point that I decide on the color of my whiteboard. If I want a whiteboard in the sense of a whiteboard, then I'll go to this color here, which is completely white. If I want a blackboard, I'll go to this one here. So it really... Uh, depends on what you want. If I want to a blue board, I'll go to this one here or even choose more colors from this tab here. And you can see when I choose it, it gives me several intense colors. Like for example, when I want deep blue color, I'll come to uh, this color here, which is dark blue. And it gives me a very nice dark blue color. So remember, you can choose the color of the whiteboard going to background styles. For now, I'm just going to keep it blue. Although remember, we are trying to create a whiteboard. You can choose your color from here. If you want the white one, then that is the color that you choose. And every other slide becomes white. Like I said, I just want to use this dark blue color for my board. And then I'll uh, click apply to all. And then I close that. I've already chosen the color of my board. And then the next thing is I might want to put a frame onto this board. So I'll come to insert and then on the group of tabs written illustrations, I'll go to shapes and on shapes, I will click this frame here, this one here. Once I have that, it gives me a nice frame. Then I'll slide uh, one side to one corner of my board over here. And then I get the other side and slide it to the other corner so that my board is filled with that frame. Like that. And then the next thing, I notice that this frame is just too wide. So I'll come to this mark over here and then slide it to the left, depending on the kind of frame that I want. I want to give it an impression that maybe I've got a wooden frame, a hard wooden frame for it. And uh, maybe I'll move this to that particular point here, depending on how wide I want it to be. And then I'll go to format. Of course, I want to remove the outline of that frame. So I'll say no outline. And indeed, you can see now there's no outline there. And then I want to it to have a certain color 
as well as a certain shape. So I'll choose a color which resembles uh, the color of the wood that I want. Maybe this one comes very close to the color that I want. So I'll click that. And then of course, I can start formatting this shape. Now I want to go to this tab here, which is a shape effects. Click it and I'm going to get different shapes. I want the bevel shapes. So I'll click there and then I move over here. And you can see that I've got various shapes for the piece of frame that I want. You may choose a frame like that one and you can see as I choose various frames, the shape keeps on changing. I might go to a shape like that one. In fact, the one that I'm using in this video has got this type of frame. Remember, you can choose any of the frames as given over here. It gives you different shapes of the frames which you might want. So let me choose the one that I'm using in this video and it is this one over here. And you can see now I'm able even to come here and start changing it to fit what I want. You might want a wider frame like that one or even a much narrower frame by just sliding this contact over there. There's something else that you need to do here. In fact, I should have mentioned it first time. When you're still on the slide master, you might want to go to page setup because I want a situation where if I'm doing a slideshow, I want the whole of this frame to fill the, the whole of my screen. So on screen show, I'll click this arrow to give me various effects. And the one which fits my frame completely is this one here. On screen show 16 to 9. So it depends on the kind of screen that you're using. You'll have to do a test here. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'll say, okay. You find that now it becomes much, much wider. It gives me an HD kind of screen. And indeed, when, when I go to slideshow, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So at this point now, I can save everything that I'm doing. And then I'll go back to view and then I'll go to normal view. When I'm in normal view, now I have my frame. I've got the color of my background. Remember, you cannot be able to change this color at this level. If you want to change the color, you've always got to go to slide master here. You cannot even change this frame. You can see even when I click on the frame, it's not active. The color is not active. So I've changed everything about the kind of board that I'm using. And this is how you would create uh, the blue board or the white board or the black board. Now at this point, let's test on the slideshow. I go to the slideshow and then I can say current slide. And you can see that now it fills the whole of my screen with this beautiful wooden frame. And it's at this point that now I can start writing here just like I would do on any other board. Remember, I'm using a blue board. You can create a black board, a white board as you may wish. And of course, I can exit the show and I'm taken back here. Now at this point, I can have so many other effects. If you click at this point, you have access to so many other layouts. You can see all these other layouts have got your frame. All of them. Does not matter whether it is a blank frame, which is what I'm using here, or a different layout, such as this one here. All of them have got your beautiful blue background and this frame. And this is how you would create the board using PowerPoint. In our next video, we are going to see how you start writing on this board.